I want to move my head off the center. So as he's coming, I step with my left foot inside his and come here, just underneath him. So I'll bend my legs and go just underneath. Good, now we're gonna go through slipping. So moving your head out of the way without getting hit directly or parrying. Again, this works for MMA very well. It works for kickboxing, boxing, anything. Um, the parrying and slipping for MMA is the two best things you can do. Um, so for slipping, obviously for different punches, you have to go different ways. I have a couple different slips to do for different punches. So for the left, for the jab, as the punch is coming towards me, I want to move my head off the center. He's aiming at the middle. I want to move my head off the center and get it just to the outside. Now being the shorter opponent, you can't just stay here and slip here, then he's gonna hit me with the right hand afterwards. I'm gonna be in trouble. If I slip this and I stay out here, then he's gonna hit me with the right hand and that sucks. So what I'm, I have to get inside. So I use my half steps with my slipping. So as he's coming, I step with my left foot inside his and come here. That way he has to turn his body to hit me with the other punch and I have lots of time to react. So as he jabs, boom, in with my left foot. Again, as he jabs, in with my left foot. Let it go over my back as deep as I can get. I like to always try to get my head close to the elbow. Here, that way if I need to, I can put my arm here, turn, pivot, use whatever we need to do. But here, the jab, boom, just outside. The second way I like to slip the jab is while my hands are up, I like to go just underneath it. So I'll bend my legs and go just underneath it. As the jab is coming to my head, just underneath, and then I can lift it up. Okay, here, boom. Just a very small, sometimes I don't have time to go to the side. So I go, boom, just underneath. Okay, the right hand. The right hand, now I have to step to my left while he throws it, boom. Get to the outside of that right hand. Here, outside. You can slip inside, it, you can. It's just more dangerous than slipping outside, we'll go over the outside. Here, head to the elbow, that way I'm not on the end of a left hook or a jab that comes afterwards, okay? I put my head to the elbow, boom. Now he has to fully turn, I have time to hit him first, okay? The harder he punches there as well, the more he gets off balance, the more he falls over and it's easy to just push him. So here, left foot goes out, right foot follows. Right foot follows. If I leave my right foot behind, then I'm in getting hit with the left hook again. I have my right foot follows, boom, outside. One more. Good. 